Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, you're going to create a Windows 11 bootable USB or I would say Windows 11 bootable pen drive without any issues. It will be just a cakewalk and we will be able to create it together. So you require a USB pen drive which should have at least 8 gigabytes of storage and the internet with the working internet so that we can download the ISO. So let's go ahead and do that. Open your favorite browser. And here, type download Windows 11 ISO. So I'll just mention Windows 11. Download Windows 11 ISO and hit enter. Once you do that, you need to make sure that you only visit Microsoft.com. And I will click on download Windows 11. So to create a bootable USB pen drive, here. A website will open up like this where we have this installation assistant. Create Windows 11 installation media and download Windows 11 disk image ISO for x64 devices. Now here we can download, we can select it and then we can start download. The overall space it will take another 5 G, 5 GB, round of 5 GB and once it is downloaded, we need to open the browser again and type Rufus. So Rufus is a software as a tool through which we can create a bootable pen drive and it's really easy. So please make sure that you only visit this Rufus.ie and I will click on that. And here a window will appear like this. Create bootable USB drive that easy way. So I'll just click on download. From here it says standard. Uh, portable standard and so we will select the standard one and I'll click on Rufus.exe then a window will appear I'll just click on close and a very small file will be downloaded and we will open it once you open it it will ask you to say yes and now you can plug in your flash drive so that it will detect it now the flash drive is selected and it's 32 GB and it is right here you can see and from here the boot selection will be the disk and we need to select the ISO file which we have just downloaded. In my case I have in my documents folder in your case it might be in downloads folder. So I'll select the Windows 11 and I'll click on open. So we have select selected the um, the ISO here and uh, standard Windows installation partition will be automatically selected the GPT or MBR and we don't have to make any changes here. So from here you can type the label and I'll mention Windows 11 right here. Make sure the file system should be NTFS and we just need to click on start. Now the moment you do it it will take another five to seven minutes depends on your processor. And you will be able to create a Windows 11 bootable USB. And I hope you, you have enjoyed this very short tutorial. Please hit the like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.